interesting topic. So actually, what I wanted to introduce was today's In the Vault. Oh, my favorite. Yes. So today's oh. today's In the Vault is in conjunction with Salazar's Re- or Salzer's Records. Salzer's Records. Yes. Absolutely. Yes. And then we are going to be doing our review on the album Sublime. Sublime. But... By Sublime. Sublime. By Sublime. So tell people what the vault is that they have no idea. What what are we doing here? So if you can explain it to them. I would say, um, are we doing it every every week? Every, every other week. week? Every, every week, week we're gonna be doing a review on an album that has had a lot of traction with it over the past hundred years. I don't know. Yeah. It, basically. You know, basically anything that, that has had a lot of um interest in it yeah and then cri- we're, either critically acclaimed right, exactly. uh, a lot of music reviews uh, for example like we could we could have britney spears up here we could have right. dolly parton right uh last week or the week before that we had pink floyd pink floyd, pink floyd. uh yes. you know so you know it's really cool that we can go back and listen to music that either we've never heard before right. and we give it a true sip to your light it up is it actually that good based off what the people have said over you know the test of time right so um sublime is a 90s like punk reggae ska band kind of thing mm-hmm. and so i i think that on the count of three right because we did this last time okay we do on, on a count of three we're gonna say if we light it up or if we're sipping tea so we're okay. gonna do three two one sipping tea up. light it up light up <laughs> that's two of three Two or, th- two or three. It's better than I it's, thought it was okay, going to be, honestly. Okay. okay. You, you know, I'm with Missy. Uh, yeah, the you lit it time, up. <laughs> yeah. The, no, it's better than I... The first time I heard this album, I was like, eh. But when I heard it again, I'm like, oh. Totally. You know, I don't know. Yeah, you know, so I agree with you, Missy. So... The first time I heard it, you guys, <laughs> I was the first like half hour I was listening to it, I was cracking up up i was laughing so hard at every single song because i was just thinking of you guys and what your reaction was gonna be yeah to i know you songs. were i know you were okay because yeah and, and that laugh was spot on i was dying like i just was in my car just cracking up um and i and i hadn't listened to this album in like 10 years so i so you already heard the i album. have yeah i have so i completely forgot and then um, when I was listening to it again, I was like, oh, my God, what did I make these guys listen to, you know? Right, right. And then, um, yeah, the sec- like Francis- Francois said, the second time I listened to it, I was like, oh, you, you know what? It's not, it's not too bad. Some of these songs these guys have had to like. You didn't like right. any songs, Junior. Absolutely. Uh, no, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying uh, for the entire album, I'm sipping tea to the album. Uh, Ooh. To, to, to the album as a body of work as a body, okay. of, work. As a body well, of work why is that why, why is that well because is- uh there were certain songs okay like uh, i'm listening i'm actually in target grocery store and i said okay i'm gonna walk around and listen to the music no one's gonna bother me i'm gonna do my thing so i'm listening mm-hmm. to the music i hear i hear garden grove I, I, i'm like okay uh, why why is this on the vault review and, and I, I started questioning then i heard what i got then wrong way and I'm like, this is just this is torturous That's why I that I have to listen to this album. <laughs> but then, and then, and then we get to, uh, I, uh, I think, same in the end. And I, and then I almost like doze off. Like I, I, I don't need to listen to the rest of the album <laughs> right. to sip this beautiful organic tea because I know what it's about. But we get to April 29, 1992. Okay. What'd you when think we get to that song. I really started to pay attention because they were speaking politically and what's happening in the streets, uh, government, police, brutality. And I was like, okay, where is this going here? But some, but the top four songs were, to me, redundant. They were cursing for no reason, and it didn't make any sense to me. And I'm like, who, why would you? I didn't know why people would like it. The reason was to express yourself. Yeah, but after, the, after a 1992, then came in Santeria, and I was yeah. like, okay, yeah. now I'm on board because I really like Santa Maria, which was a very popular song. I think their most popular song totally. uh, from the album. Once I heard those two songs, that was enough energy for me to continue to listen. But, you know, I think Pawn Shop, I like Pawn Shop. But when we got to Paddle Out, I'm like, okay, here they go again, getting, getting reckless and crazy. Uh, so I have to sip tea because as a body of work, 
I did not like this. There's no way Francois is going to be bumping Sublime when I ever see him. So he's, I know he's lighting it up, but I think it's a little fraudulent. I know it's not on his playlist. I that, put, that, I that's put, okay. I look, put Pink Floyd look, on my playlist now. I really believe in that album. Look, I, I will I will put some of these songs on my playlist. Some of them I'll, or majority of them? Well, well, of course, when you listen to the body of work, yeah. I actually like a lot of it. And the reason why... Um, 17 I'll go, songs. I'll go, I'll go next. I, I mean, I think, Missy, you've already went, correct? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. She Francois. got more, though. She got more. Uh, yeah, no, go, Francois. Me, yeah, for me, I think it's really, really cool because I think back to the time of when this album came out. You're looking at July 96. Right. So right. for me, July 96, there weren't too many artists or bands that were blending country, rock, reggae, totally, all in one album. So when I saw that, I was like, that takes a lot of talent. And um, I will say the guitarist and the drummer in Sublime, they're amazing. Like mm-hmm. the, the drum work and the guitar work, I mean, just, just musically, sonically, I was like, wow. Now, the, the lyrics, I mean, I could see where Junior's coming from as far yes. as, you know, some of the curse words that were like just random. But as, as far as what I looked at, I, I looked at that the time period in which this album came out and what was going on during that time period. And I was like, wow, what these guys did during that time period, it, it definitely is going to stand the test of time. And they opened up doors for a lot of people to do, to merge and, and fuse music, which was really cool because it wasn't really being done like that at that point in time. No, so, I, I, um, I have to piggyback off you. Uh, you have some really good points that I, I have to admit are true. Um, the political stance and the, and the album, I, I can light it up for that. I thought they did a great job of expressing themselves as free Americans of how they felt about what was happening in the country. Mm-hmm. Um, I also do agree that they had a, a great contrast of switching from rock to this reggae style mm-hmm. where they almost sounded like completely different bands by how yes. talented they were. Right. And I will, I will light it up for that. But I'm saying the way my ears are trained and what I was listening to, there's just no way, in my point of view, I would just be listening to the album again. I will I take a few songs from the album and be like, I completely agree. I mean, I really like 1992. It's not even a song that I would listen to, but I would encourage people to listen oh, to it. Oh, April 29th, of, April 29th, yeah, it, right. was, it, was, it was a great song, right? Mm-hmm. I mean, we can't yeah. even play it on a, on a radio, but no, I want can't. people to <laughs> go listen to it. So you can hear kind of what we're talking about. I don't know. Get a little snippet. I feel that. I can't be swayed, Missy. If you were to listen to it a second time, (laughs) you might understand it. No second time. Sometimes you don't understand the album. It's a album. It's 17 songs. Here's a lighter. Here's a lighter. 17 (laughs) songs. Here's a lighter, right? Again, this is in conjunction with Salazar's records. They have all the records there. And, you know, we're going to start kind of doing a a plethora of what they have in their store. We're going to just spotlight it here on 99.3 FM, yes. right? So, but I don't know, Missy. I don't think, I I can't listen to it again. Yeah. Not the full album. If you're asking me, like, pa- did you like Paddle Out? Yeah, I like all the songs. I know all the words to all the songs. It did, the but let me tell you. The facial expressions, my luminary community. Let me tell you, though. The facial expressions right now. The, because I hadn't listened to it in such a long time, it was a shock listening to listening to it the first time, and I did have to take a break listening to it. Like I was like, uh, break. Oh. Explain the break so the people at home understand what this break is about. I just I listened to like half of the album, and then I waited a couple of days, and I listened to the other half of the album. But like, why did I you have to take a break? I couldn't. I just couldn't handle, handle it. it. The yes, whole thing. exactly. And neither can I. I right. could not handle yeah. the whole album. <laughs> no, and that no, was, it was a lot. It was. I felt like I was in the grocery. I was banging my head. Right, but now because I know I like the album, I could totally listen to the whole thing again. I could be wrong, uh, Luminary Community, as Francis says. Yeah. I could be wrong. You might, guys might look listen to this album, and you might be like, Judy let us crazy. But Light I'm very happy with my selection of In the Vault. What mm-hmm. did you guys think when I sent it to you? I thought, I thought she was absolutely crazy. <laughs> I was like, you what know- is Missy doing? Does she understand? <laughs> I thought, she, But you know what? I, I do appreciate her for just taking it there. Right. Right? We're I, talking about Sublime. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And I told That's Missy, it point. took me back to middle school. 
uh, because I remember kids that I went to middle school with were crazy about Sublime. Totally. But they were they weren't a, they were a band that was only out for a short period of time. They weren't out for a very long period right. of time. Right. So, I, I understand that. So it, it's like, where did they go? Yeah. So I wanted to, to. That's a good point. The lead, um, the lead guy, he actually passed away before oh, the wow. album dropped. Oh, the lead singer. Mm-hmm. I'm sorry to he hear that. He passed away. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh, of a, of a um, drug overdose, I believe. Wow. And so the band definitely rest in peace. Totally, the band tried to go on. That. They can. They try to continue on. I mean, even within the past five years, they've had been doing concerts, and they had changed their name to Sublime with Rome, and Rome was the new guy. Um, and they were pretty good, but I just thought to myself, oh, you can't. You can't. You it's, can't it's replace tough. You can't, that You guy, can't replace you know? that. It's so, really tough. It, it, That's it's like happened. TLC without Left Eye. It's not the same. So No, it's, it's yeah. definitely not the same. Um, but Francois gets to pick the In the Vault yeah, next Francois week. Francois is going to pick the In the Vault next week. I already Stay have an, I, I already have an idea. Tuned. I have an idea what it's going to be, so... Uh, I'm still looking forward to it because I don't know what you guys are going to choose. I got one for the following week that's going to be bananas. You guys are going to be like, what? Since you guys are going crazy far <laughs> out, I'm going to go far out with it. That's the point, with, in right? In conjunction of Salzar's records. Right? I'm going far out with it. That's the point of this in the vault is to like expand our musical tastes and palettes. Right. I'm, but we also are that. very honest in our opinions. We are. I'm not going to sugarcoat if I'm not feeling the song uh, just because it's a classic album. If I'm not and, feeling and, it, I'm not. And to end this segment, I will say that Luminary Community, we do bring you the newest and the hottest music, but at the same time within the vault, we also educate you on the songs of the past that basically shaped our culture. And that's why we're here. Absolutely. And and speaking of uh, the artists that we present, here is Enders with Floor 20.